Hallelujah, man. Can you imagine what Mama went through cooking for that bunch, man? All the hot wood stove in July, August. It's so hot in there, man. You couldn't stand. Couldn't breathe. Never Mama complain, be standing up. Never complain. Cook. Mama, you know what Ben Crosby said when he fell in the commode? <laughs> Mama and Dad looked at one another like it. <laughs> kind of grinned a little bit, but not much. I said, Mama, you didn't hear what I said. You know what? And I just picked out them because they just, it looked like they just didn't enjoy life, you know? <laughs> I don't imagine know that. Imagine that. that. <laughs> now I look at them, I don't think she did. I said, listen, what she had to do. But anyway, I said, what happened? She said, and finally she said, I don't know, what do you say? I said, said, la do 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 <laughs> And Mom and Dad looked at one that way. Right back, right back to the back. Ain't said nothing. You couldn't get a plane told me. Plane told me this. He said, you're the only one I've seen make dead later. I got in the lab one time. I don't know. Get this little moment sitting in the higher up. You know how you sit around and break wind all yeah. the time, man. I mean, love them real. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Me and him and Ma, me and Mom and Dad sitting in the living room watching TV one evening. He, he's always just a breaking wind. He would let one loose, man. Mom said, good grief, Mama. She said, I sometimes wish you just mess all in your britches. He said, you do. And I looked at him, I said, Mom, he's bottom, bottom. be careful what you wish for. I said, if he does, I said, you're going to have to be the one to watch from daddy busting out laughing. He said, that's right, you watch him. I got to laugh at him right now. I said, oh, no, Mom, you're going to be the one to have to watch him. <laughs> he always sit backwards in that chair. Because I was, when did he die? Like, 85. So, I mean, I, I barely remember that, but I remember him sitting Back, straight back child. Yeah, when he there. usually had something in his mouth. Uh, you know, I was too young to remember, but yeah. he would yeah, he would kid years. around with me. And he'd be like, "I'm gonna get you," and I would run and cry because he had the deepest voice ever. You know, it just seemed like he did. Now I tell you what, he wasn't a laughing kind of person. You would be scared of him if you didn't know it. Mm -hmm. But he, he he realized I was scared of him, and he he capitalized on that like he thought that was funny. I think. But you know, he sat around and stole his own laugh. He'd get with his bunch. Yeah, get with his bunch. He'd get his bunch. He'd he run with, hung around with, and all that, man. Yeah, I'll see him sit around the store and just cackle and have a good time with all his buddies at the store, you know. Yes, he told me one day. You didn't ask him for nothing. I mean, me and Wayne used to go to the store with him every once in a while. He'd go and I'd get him to walk over. Sometimes he'd buy us a drink, sometimes he wouldn't. We'd go out and he'd get him a drink. He'd be sitting there drinking a drink. And he you know, he'd be sitting around and like drooling, man. <laughs> he wouldn't, he wouldn't. Every now and then he gets one. Yeah, and somebody, somebody said, I don't buy him chap a drink. Oh, they don't need no drink at all. <laughs> and you know what he told me? Tell me, don't you, don't you. If somebody offers to buy one, don't you take it. He used to tell me that, don't mm -hmm. you take it. That's not, that's not right. But he'd be over had look at me and things, that's how that's okay. Day in the morning. Pepsi Cola was having to me back in them days. But uh, I, I don't even drink them now. I, I, it was cruel, but I could see his point of view what he's doing. He was teaching us, just cause you want something don't mean you're gonna get it. Right. You know? <laughs> he tell you if you get it, you gotta work it. Yeah, on. yeah. He didn't spoil you. <laughs> you know. We'd get off a bus, come home. As soon as you got home, you changed. You got out your school clothes, put your old clothes on. You went to work, didn't you? Yes. And you worked a dog every day. Every day. See, we heat it. We heat it. We cook with wood. Heat it with wood. Cure tobacco with wood. Raise our own corn. Raise our own wheat. Raise our own cows. I mean, raise it milk cow, chickens, mm -hmm. hogs. It was nothing. We didn't. It was something to do all the time, every day, man. Yeah. Oh, you might get a 30-minute break. When it got break, real, it? real cold, it, yeah. was, it was a little short thing to yeah. do then. Like, you still had to get that wood oh, yeah. every day, Split man. Split it, too. Split it. Oh, my goodness. Feed the pigs, feed the cows. Yeah. That was every day, man. And you couldn't do nothing in secret around them pigs. That squirt on you every time. <laughs> <laughs> we used to get them and make pets out of them. Yeah.
just sitting here, be still and quiet, and you see wall rats running all through these cracks. Talk about that long tail and all that. I can't run, you know, and shoot them. <laughs> Turn in and shoot them, right? And then, and drag them out. I'll take them in one day. Hey, it's just a weapon. One of them sitting up in there eating his tail done draped down between the cracks and logs back that long. But you know, it's just his tail is all you can see. Yeah. I ease up on uh, I said, he can't, he ain't got no room to bite me right here. I reached, grabbed that tail and I latched on to him. He started squealing. I was worried he was squealing. You ain't never seen many rats in your life. Did he? Came running out? When he got to squealing. Come He was just helping. Not to help him, getting away. Oh. He was running everywhere, all up under the corner. I mean, everywhere, man. He was in there working like magic. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, it wasn't like mice. I'm talking about these were red rats. Big stump used to stand like that. Big old stump, right there in the pasture, right there, right there on that log. Oh, it was that tired. You ain't never had that milk cart put you on that stump? To get away from <laughs> I have more than once. Couldn't get to the fence in time. Yeah, that's crazy. I heard old redneck said they got on the stump in the cow pasture, but not for that reason. <laughs> I told him it was funny. They got on the stump in the cow pasture, but not for that reason. I told him it was funny. See a tree on that stump and running around just snorting and blowing, man. You stand on top of the stump, it's about that tall. Man, I remember a cow. That thing hurt you. There's a whole trumpet. Uh, lots of men had them would run you. Remember that old bull? Yeah. He used to jump the fence and come over here all down? Yeah. I seen G Boy. We'd run that bull back. Try to run it back away, and he 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 charged. He come back, G boy, said, blank it, blank you. He said you will get back on oh, y'all. Yeah. It was a PTO. You know what a PTO shaft is? I retracted. Yeah. yeah. It was one laid up against the draw balls right here. He picked that thing up. He went over at that bull. It was a solid steel rod that long. That was that Oscar bull. bull. Yeah, Oscar bull done jumped over here. We tried to run it back. It run you every time. Of course, I bet you do go back. He had that thing, he run the bull, and he shook his head running. Right he did, he went for it like a home run, boy. Pow! Caught that bull right across the aisle. I thought he done killed it. I thought he done killed it. I mean, he hit him as hard as he could swing that steel shaft. There's man. some great stories about Gerald that I've heard. Stop, man, dropped down crazy. on his knees. He snorted, blowing, stopped falling into the travels, man. He shut the man. He shook his head. He got up and he wobbled on back through the gap. He oh, didn't get out no more. Ain't nothing Gerald did get into. I tell you right there. I thought he was going to kill that man's bull. I mean, he, he hit him. He said, Bill got to me I work with. He said, I remember Gerald had got, we could be friends with each other. He worked with me down there, Devin, for long, probably as long as I did. He said they was up there to drinking beer at the tavern up there to uh, Alf Richard. And he said, old man had a goat out in the yard. And he said, they got to have drunk. He said, Gerald said, Gerald, I bet you can't knock that goat down out <laughs> with your fist. Yeah, and then the trip for him sitting in there. And he, now this guy, Gerald didn't tell me this because he didn't tell me I wouldn't have beat him. <laughs> he tell you some lies, Gerald. Was great. Yeah, it was. It, <laughs> but anyway, he said, Cause he said three or four and put up how much money he said he said we'll give you this money right here if you knock it if you knock it go that point with your fist and he said Lonnie I wouldn't believe it happened to him but he said he brought back hit that go and he brought back and he knocked him out <laughs> right between the eyes he said he did and now if Gerald had told me that I wouldn't have believed it but Frank he said I ain't lying he knocked that goat out <laughs> He sounds like one of those people that you don't want to fight because they like getting punched. I know people like friends that are like they. I used to have a friend from Appomattox. He would look. He would. He loved. He instigated. It's like they love getting punched. I'm he like. Instigate. You don't want to fight Most somebody people. like that. You don't want to fight somebody that likes getting punched in the face. Like. <laughs> now we was in the house one day at the one day looking for Gerald. Gerald was in that. You said the best room we had. That's where he slept. Yeah. He got in there. He said. He said, "Uh oh." Said, Mama said, the sheriff comes, I need to see Gerald. 
G-Boy. I said, I need to see a G-Boy. And I, I said, I went, go get him now. And I went, Sheriff's like, hey, someone will kill him. He ain't come and get me. He just pulled that shotgun down. <laughs> pulled that shotgun down and laid it out the window. And she, Mama said, that ain't hell room ground. I'm not going to know a deputy sheriff when I'm not going to do it. <laughs> shotgun down the window. What you want? Why him go killing me? <laughs> Why, well, when he confronted him, I didn't stare at him. Yeah. <laughs>